In this topic, we are identifying precipitation, combustion, and acid-based reactions. So let's talk very briefly about uh, these three different types of reactions that have been named. Precipitation reactions. Precipitation. In precipitation reactions, we have soluble reactants producing a precipitate. Okay, so all of our reactants, though, the key is our reactants are soluble because they are reacting solutions and a precipitate will come out some insoluble compound. Okay, so we have one or more insoluble products. For a combustion reaction, we have a molecular compound, something like methane, for example, reacting with diatomic molecular oxygen and in a combustion reaction the combustion of a hydrocarbon we always get two things carbon dioxide and water in an acid base reaction much like the neutralization reactions we've seen before we have an acid reacting with a base to produce water and a salt how do I know I have a base? Look for hydroxide. How do I know I have an acid? You know you have an acid when you have a chemical formula that has H in front. Generally, that is a hint that you have an acid. There are some rare exceptions, but for these topics, this tip will work very nicely. So we have precipitation reactions, number one. For a precipitation reaction, we are looking for soluble reactants. I should have put my highlighter. We are looking for soluble reactants that are forming an insoluble product, at least one insoluble product. Okay, so we have reacting solutions forming an insoluble product. Number two, combustion reactions. For combustion reactions, we have a molecular compound reacting with oxygen to produce carbon dioxide and water when that molecular compound is a hydrocarbon. We will always make the same two products, CO2 and H2O. So when you burn that gasoline in your car, it's octane, it is molecular compound, carbon dioxide and water are byproducts of that. Burning coal, carbon dioxide and water. Burning propane, carbon dioxide and water. Of course, there are other additives in gasoline that you buy at the pump, but these are two products of that combustion reaction. Number three, for an acid-base reaction, when you have a strong acid reacting with a strong base, you will also make two familiar products, water and a salt. So let's see if we can take this information and solve this table here. Let's look at the first reaction. I have methane, CH4, reacting with O2 to produce CO2 plus H2O. Well, I have some hints here. Look at my products, CO2 and H2O. Where have we seen at it before? Those are the products of combustion reactions, the combustion of hydrocarbons. And I also, one of my reactants is molecular oxygen. So the hint here and here tells me that I have a combustion reaction in this case. It is not an acid-base reaction, it's not a precipitation reaction, nor is it a combination reaction. And single and double displacement will not apply here. It's not a decomposition reaction either. Let's look at the next one. A solution of sodium chloride reacting with a solution of silver nitrate to produce uh, soluble sodium nitrate and silver chloride precipitate. I have soluble reactants, but one insoluble product. Those are hints that we have a precip precipitation reaction. So this is a precipitation reaction. And precipitation reactions are also double, in this case, we have a double displacement reaction or a metathesis exchange reaction. So not only will I check precipitation, 
but I will also check double replacement, aka double displacement, exchange, it has various names that you may hear it called. I have calcium here reacting with fluorine, molecular fluorine, to produce calcium fluoride. A plus B combines to make C. That looks like a combination reaction. So even though combin combination reactions weren't listed here in the title top in the topic title, um, that is also one type of reaction that we have learned about in the past. Here, I have sodium hydroxide, a solution, and here I have something you probably aren't familiar with. This is hypobromous uh, acid, very very weird name, and I produce this which is a salt, I have a cation and an anion here, and water. So even though you may not recognize this as hypobromous acid, let's look at the clues. Here's a base, I see hydroxide. This is most likely an acid because it has an H in the front of the chemical formula. I form water, and this would be a salt because I have a cation and an anion here. Those are all hints that we have an acid-base reaction. This is also a double replacement reaction as well because this cation is with that anion here to form the salt and this cation, the H+, combines with the hydroxide to form water.